Sports stadiums are honestly some of the coolest parts of professional sports. Some are equipped with state-of-the-art technology that makes the viewing experience really something else. And other stadiums are, well, in desperate need of an update. When it comes to ranking NFL stadiums, you look at the basics. Overall design, the appearance, the location, the food and beverages, the costs, and the fan atmosphere. By considering all those factors, we came up with some fresh new rankings for all 30 NFL stadiums. So, let's get right to it. Number 30, FedEx Field, Washington football team. This stadium isn't even a quarter century old, but it still looks double its age. There's really little to like about this place. The quality of the field is awful. It's a pain in the butt for fans to access via public transit. Dan Snyder temporarily banned signs from the stadium because he's a miserable human being. Attendance and ticket sales have plummeted over the years. Simply put, FedEx Field is the worst. Number 29, Hard Rock Stadium, Miami Dolphins. You gotta admire the history of this venue. It has hosted six Super Bowls, most recently number 54 between the San Francisco 49ers and Kansas City Chiefs. But like FedEx, the field quality at Hard Rock is poor. And you've all seen how ugly it gets during rainy games. The stadium is located in Miami Gardens, so there isn't much surrounding it either. You'd think South Beach's team would have something better to offer, am I right? Number 28, Paul Brown Stadium, Cincinnati Bengals. The positive, the Bengals' home stadium features 56 concession stands. Mind you, attendance has dropped notably in recent years, so lineups shouldn't be that much of a hassle to begin with. Paul Brown Stadium isn't over the top terrible, it just lacks any cool features that would bump it up our list. Number 27, First Energy Stadium, Cleveland Browns. It opened in 1999, the same year the Browns franchise was reactivated. You do have to love the energy and passion of the dog pound, even though there hasn't been a whole lot of winning there over the years. But in terms of actual stadium quality, like Paul Brown Stadium, First Energy just doesn't have much to offer. There's something about these Ohio stadiums that just screams meh. Number 26, Highmark Stadium, Buffalo Bills. This won't be the Bills' home much longer. The Pagulas are trying to get a new stadium, and yes, you've all probably heard the rumors regarding a possible relocation to Austin. Highmark opened in 1973. It's the fourth oldest NFL stadium. Bills Mafia has given this place one of the best atmospheres in football, even during the tough years from 2000 to 2016. So that much is nice and all, but the stadium itself is totally outdated. Number 25, Nissan Stadium, Tennessee Titans. The stadium is in fine shape and all, but this one also doesn't have much to offer in terms of special or unique features. One nice thing is it's right on the banks of the beautiful Cumberland River, and it's very close to downtown Nashville's main tourist attractions, so it's convenient for visitors who plan a trip to a Titans game. Number 24, Raymond James Stadium, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The stadium wins some appearance points because of the super cool 103 foot long pirate ship, but otherwise, nah, nothing especially stands out, and attendance was usually near the very bottom of the NFL for a while, although Tom Brady will quickly change that. Number 23, TIAA Bank Field, Jacksonville Jaguars. Truth be told, there's really not much of an atmosphere here. Attendance consistently ranks near the basement, as TIAA Bank Field tends to be hosting more visiting fans than Jag supporters. So the actual game day experience isn't usually that exciting. But unlike the stadiums that place lower than TIAA Bank Field, this one has some signature features, like the world's largest video boards at 362 feet in length and 60 feet in height. And if you're hot or simply bored of the game, you can hop right into the stadium's famous swimming pool. Number 22, Bank of America Stadium, Carolina Panthers. The Bank of America Stadium once stood out as one of the league's most beautiful stadiums. But, you know, all these other teams have upgraded their respective homes over the years, so Bank of America Stadium just doesn't stack up well against the modern venues anymore. However, the stadium is set to undergo $50 million in upgrades, and this will include a brand new LED board that measures 210 feet in length. Once the renovations are done, perhaps Bank of America will move considerably higher in these rankings. Number 21, 
MetLife Stadium, New York Giants, and New York Jets. This has been the home of the Giants and Jets since 2010. Back then, it was something to behold. Now, eh, well, it leaves quite a bit to be desired. The problems with the turf have been well documented. It's been the cause of several season-ending injuries over the years. The stadium is also located in East Rutherford, New Jersey. It's not exactly convenient to access by any means. Just go and look up the failed mass transit plan for Super Bowl 48. It'll tell you all you need to know about MetLife Stadium's disastrous location. Number 20, MT&T Bank Stadium, Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens have played here since 1998. Attendance is always strong and Baltimore has consistently been one of the league's top home teams. MT&T Bank Stadium has a capacity of 71,008 and it features 128 suites. The overall stadium layout and design make it convenient for fans to maneuver their way to the concession stands and restrooms. Honestly, not a bad venue at all. Number 19, Ford Field, Detroit Lions. Ford Field replaced the iconic Pontiac Silverdome and became the Lions' new home in 2002. With 105 restrooms and 50 permanent concession stands, Lions fans get to mostly avoid giant lineups. That's a win! There's also a great collection of food options, including a Big Boys, Hungry Howie's, Tailgate Grill, and Turf Tavern. So the overall game day experience shouldn't disappoint you. It's just too bad Lions fans don't get to see a whole lot of winning there. Otherwise, the atmosphere would be a lot better. Number 18, Levi's Stadium, San Francisco 49ers. It doesn't have the history of Candlestick Park just yet, but Levi's Stadium does offer more good than bad for both the fans and the environment. The stadium, which opened in 2014, is located in a prime location in Santa Clara. Renowned for being extremely environmentally friendly, Levi Stadium features a green roof and solar panels. And for all you football historians, don't forget to check out the 49ers Museum, which is located inside the stadium. Number 17, NRG Stadium, Houston Texans. NRG Stadium, the first NFL stadium to feature a retractable roof, includes more than 7,000 club seats and nearly 200 luxury suites. This venue has already hosted two Super Bowls, 38 and 51, which were both won by the New England Patriots. Not gonna complain too much about anything here. NRG does its job nicely as an NFL stadium. Number 16, Gillette Stadium, New England Patriots. The Patriots have been America's most successful sports franchise in the 21st century. Countless unforgettable memories have taken place here at Gillette. The overall design of the stadium is beautiful as well, and food and beverage prices are reasonable. So why is it ranked so low? Well, there isn't much that surrounds the stadium. Patriots fans will gladly tell you about the hassles of commuting there, and besides the cheap concessions and scintillating atmosphere, Gillette Stadium is really lacking those special features that we're looking for in these rankings. Number 15, Empower Field at Mile High, Denver Broncos. This franchise has enjoyed a 50-year sellout streak that dates back to the Mile High Stadium days. Empower Field at Mile High opened in 2001, and the Broncos faithful have enjoyed a trio of AFC Championship games here. Even when they're not winning, this is an extremely rowdy and intense atmosphere. Bonus points for the giant horse that sits atop the stadium. Just a beautiful look all around. And the stadium is easily accessible. Number 14, Soldier Field, Chicago Bears. This is the oldest stadium in football by a wide margin. It opened in 1924 and remains in pristine condition given its age. Soldier Field makes the top half here mostly due to its rich history. Many will put it on the Mount Rushmore of American sports venues that you must visit. Officials have honestly done an excellent job in maintaining Soldier Field as it nears its 100 year anniversary. Number 13, State Farm Stadium, Arizona Cardinals. State Farm Stadium has a retractable roof and natural grass. If you're an NFL player, this is one of the premier fields to play on. Arizona fans celebrated a thrilling NFC Championship victory there in 2008. Though the franchise hasn't enjoyed too much success in recent years, State Farm Stadium has hosted four Cardinals playoff wins from 2008 to 2015. Win or lose, it's always a loud crowd in Glendale, which always makes the experience that much more enjoyable. Number 12, Lucas Oil Stadium, Indianapolis Colts. This 
This checks off most of the boxes. It's easily accessible thanks to its prime downtown location. The field of quality is terrific and the overall stadium design and layout is just wonderful. Lucas Oil Stadium features a retractable roof, 139 suites, and it can hold over 70,000 spectators for certain events. Attendance is always high, of course, thanks in large part to the Colts' long winning history over the past two decades. Number 11, Lincoln Financial Field, Philadelphia Eagles. If you're an Eagles player or fan, you love it here. If you cheer or play for the opposition, well, let's just say this won't be the most welcoming environment you'll ever visit. Philadelphia is renowned for its merciless fans. The passion and energy of this fan base makes Lincoln Financial Field one of the country's most intense sporting venues. As for the actual stadium itself, it's in a great location, it's easily accessible, and it features 8,740 club seats and 3,040 luxury suites. Number 10, Arrowhead Stadium, Kansas City Chiefs. This is the third oldest stadium in the NFL, and it's a beauty. It opened in 1972, but is aged oh so nicely. The stadium is home to one of the loudest fan bases in the sporting universe. In a 2014 home game against the Patriots, the Chiefs fans set a crowd noise record that measured at 142.2 decibels. Casey fans sure know how to throw tailgating parties too, and the stadium is in a fine all-around shape given its age. Number 9, Heinz Field, Pittsburgh Steelers. Heinz Field is so luxurious and dreamy that Bane had to take it over and destroy it in the Dark Knight Rises. Jokes aside, Heinz Field is a giant upgrade from its predecessor, Three Rivers Stadium. The yellow-colored seats are eye-catching and a perfect ode to the home team. The stadium in general is in pristine condition, and it's located right along the Ohio River. When the Steelers fans are roaring and waving those terrible towels, it's an atmosphere to behold. Number 8, Caesar Superdome, New Orleans Saints. This well-kept stadium is nearly a half century old, but you wouldn't know it judging by its condition. There's a lot of history inside Caesar Superdome. Not just pertaining to the Saints, Super Bowl 59 will be the 8th Super Bowl played here. Easy to see why the NFL loves coming to NOLA for the big game. The field quality is terrific, the stadium is in a convenient spot, and the crowd is never lacking in energy. This is another must-see venue for NFL fans outside of New Orleans. Number 7, Lumen Field, Seattle Seahawks. This too checks off practically all the boxes. It's located in downtown Seattle and is therefore surrounded by many restaurants and other tourist attractions. It's pretty much the perfect location for tourists who attend a game here. And of course, nothing beats the atmosphere at Lumen Field. Seattle has a reputation for having the loudest fan base, hence the popular 12th man nickname. Number 6, Lambeau Field, Green Bay Packers. What more can we say? The frozen tundra is a significant American landmark. Among all NFL stadiums, only Soldier Field is older. Of course, the Packers have enjoyed far more success here compared to the Bears at Soldier Field. But that's a completely different conversation that we're not about to have. Number 5, Mercedes-Benz Stadium, Atlanta Falcons. Gorgeous architecture, cheap food prices, Arthur Blank really treated the Falcons faithful to something nice here. The Georgia Dome has a glamorous modern day look. No wonder the NFL deemed Atlanta as the host city for Super Bowl 53. And best of all, a day out at a Falcons game won't cost you an arm and a leg. I mean, just look at these prices. Number 4, US Bank Stadium, Minnesota Vikings. If you want to judge a stadium solely on looks and architecture, this might be the best of them all. US Bank Stadium, from the outside, looks like a jewelry museum. That's a lot of glass, all right. It's right in downtown Minneapolis. There's a super efficient public transit system that helps fans get there without having to pay high parking fees. And this is one extremely noisy stadium that is consistently a nightmare for opposing teams. Gotta love this fan base that so proudly cheers on its Vikings, even though they're really only accustomed to heartbreak. Number 3, Allegiant Stadium, Las Vegas Raiders. You can criticize Mark Davis all you want for moving from Oakland to Las Vegas, but there's no denying that Allegiant Stadium, which opened in 2021, is right up there with the country's best sports venues. Nicknamed the Death Star, Allegiant Stadium has a capacity of 65,000. Because of the pandemic, the Raiders didn't have any fans for their 2020 home games. Well, the good folks of Vegas and the many, many tourists will make this a game day experience like no other for many years to come. Number 2, SoFi Stadium, Los Angeles Chargers, and Los Angeles Rams. In our previous rankings, the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum and Dignity Health Sports Parks ranked 30th and 28th respectively. 
But now the Rams and Chargers share a beautiful and much more football suited venue in SoFi Stadium, located in Inglewood, California. Like the Raiders, neither team had fans at SoFi in 2020 because of the pandemic. But this jaw-dropping, gorgeous stadium has a futuristic look that you just can't help but fall in love with. It'll host Super Bowl 56 and WrestleMania 38, and it'll be used for the 2028 Summer Olympics. So you'll be seeing a lot more of SoFi Stadium in the coming years. Number 1. AT&T Stadium, Dallas Cowboys Love or hate the Cowboys, nothing beats Jerry's world. Jones paid a pretty penny for this stadium, and it's truly the cream of the crop as far as sports venues go. It has a retractable roof that can sit over 100,000 fans and has a video board that measures 72 feet in height and 160 feet in length. The main complaint is that tickets, parking, food, and beer are all quite overpriced. But when it comes to the lavish AT&T Stadium, one could easily argue that you pay for what you get. But which do you think is the nicest NFL stadium? And which one do you think is the worst? Join us in the comment section below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.